1981 Donruss baseball cards may have been some of the ugliest and cheapest pasteboards ever produced, but they had a couple of things going for them. First, they helped usher in a new hobby era along with Fleer, effectively ending Topps' monopoly, temporarily at least. And second, they took an unusual approach to an age-old problem. Ever since Gutenberg started spinning out baseball cards from his new printing press way back in the 15th century, traded players and rookies have been the bane and eventually the boon of card manufacturers. After all, it's tough to keep up with player movement when Major League Baseball teams are basically free to swap guys at any time, but your cards are pretty much static. Topps is famous for their airbrush jobs and hatless cards over the years, and Canadian counterpart Opeachy wrote a traded to message right there on the card fronts, along with showing the card design of the player's new team. Topps also addressed the problem head-on with traded sets, and Fleer followed suit with update issues. Donruss eventually did their part with opening day and the rookie sets. But in that first year of existence, Donruss settled on an approach that satisfied no one, but confused plenty of collectors. In particular, Big D showed a traded player in whatever uniform he was wearing in whatever pictures they had on hand, but they designed the card around the player's team. Sort of the Opeachy approach, but Donruss didn't bother with any traded language, even on the card backs. Well, at least not the first time around. Some of the players did get a traded to bit tacked onto the top of the career highlights on card backs in later press runs. So we're left with Jesus Figueroa in a Chicago Cubs uniform in Wrigley, but with a Giants frame and designation. Both without the traded to tag on the back and with. Similarly, we have the Cliff Johnson's Cubs A's combo. The Bruce Sutter Cubs Cardinals ensemble. The Jerry Martin Redux of Figueroa's Cubs Giants getup. The Mike Vale Cubs Reds commemorative edition card. And the Ray Burris Cubs Mets throwback special. Yep, the Cubs traded Burris to the New York Yankees way back in May 1979, but Donruss couldn't scrape together a photo that was snapped in the intervening 20-some months. And lest you think this was a Cubs-only affliction, we get to see Daryl Porter in an unholy mixture of the Kansas City Royals and the St. Louis Cardinals. And Larry Milborn with the Mariners and Yankees. And Willie Norwood with the Twins and the Mariners. And Bob Ochinko with the Indians and the Pirates. And Dave Edwards with the Twins and the Padres. And Dave Roberts with the Rangers and the Astros. And Jeff Zahn with the Twins and the Angels. Did I miss any? I don't think so, but it's possible. These things are everywhere, like dog hairs on a collie owner's corduroys. But hey, at least the 1981 Donruss set is interesting. And the cardstock is thin enough that you don't even have to turn the card over. You can read the back while looking at the front. And the photos are so fuzzy, you'll want to curl up with them, just like a collie. Like our video? Then like our videos and subscribe to our channel, waxpackgods.com.